Director Martin Dobelmeier. When we were making the film, I think one of the things we realized is that most likely we were going to be the last people doing the interviews with these characters who lived through the Bonhoeffer experience. We knew that. And so we tried to interview them not just for the film, but for archival purposes, to have long, engaged conversations with them so that we could really give them a chance to give their last statements and testimonies about their experience with Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Otto Dutzis is in the film. And um, he became a wonderful pastor in the last 50 years of his life after having had this experience of being a student of Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And it's his last interview that he ever gave. If you know much about uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, it's probably because of the work and the effort of Eberhard Betke, his friend, his really dear friend, and the man who became his biographer, and who spent the last 50 years of his own life, Eberhard did, uh, making sure that Bonhoeffer's writings and his theology continued to evolve as theology in a post-World War II world continued to evolve. Uh, and it becomes the last interview that Eberhard ever gave about his friend, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And I was brought into a cell, an uh, empty cell, and then another time the door opened and Dietrich was brought in, and they left Dietrich and me a whole hour for our own. So we sat together and could talk and talk and talk and talk. I think what's really interesting about the Bonhoeffer legacy is that if you look back at his own life, uh, Bonhoeffer was not one of the key people in the resistance movement. And he was really not one of the key leaders in the church in Germany in the 1930s and 40s. He was a young, he was a burgeoning writer and thinker. Um, and so when you look now from, you know, in the beginning of the 21st century, it's just extraordinary, the legacy that has happened. Martin Luther King quoted Bonhoeffer in his struggle for civil rights and justice in this country. And you see examples of, of people like Desmond Tutu in South Africa citing Bonhoeffer in the struggle that they had in South Africa against apartheid. And so I think people of faith all around the world have turned to Bonhoeffer as really an example of moral courage and the, the, the call to transform the world for the better in the name of God.